What's up, my demons and devils? Welcome back to another video. <coughs> Apparently, the Siramon Caverns aren't happy to see me with all the uh, shaking about and stuff. So today we will be... Oh, jeez, that's loud. We will be continuing with um, Dust and Elysian Tale on the PS4. We're, like I said, we're currently in the Siramon Caverns, uh, trekking through this abyss of bright yet dark nothingness. And there's currently... Uh, rocks trying to fall on my head because this game apparently doesn't want me to continue because this game isn't afraid to get really dark this game has some very heavy topics I think for this game people just die on a regular basis which sounds mean but that's just how the game works people die a lot in this game not risking that. Hey! Come on! That's gross. Alright, where am I? These are the waters that he was talking about. The waters of life. Um, I was saving at one of the save things here. It was literally the one we started at. Um, and I accidentally saved over my, my own personal save file. So now my very overpowered dust that I worked ages on in my spare time is gone. And I was really upset. Whee! Here we are, the lady. Now take a sip of my tea. Who are you? I am dust, and this is Fidget. We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. <laughs> that was pretty mean. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should turn it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Lady Tethys, the mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface type, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of life? A dude who's trying to protect a dying father. A creature, deity or not, that would let their subjects perish without reason. I have felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land surface to me. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. A creature like me? You mean... He leads a great army across these lands. General Gaius. Blood, and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water, so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, oh, God, here we go. are insignificant to the greater good. I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. Yep, I already know. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius's campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! <laughs> you ain't gonna purge my soul anytime, Lady Tethys. Too strong for you. But I did just stop myself on some spikes, <laughs> so now I feel stupid. I only just realized as well, her name is very similar to Tether, which is like the life tether and stuff like that, tethered to the mortal coils, that kind of thing. Haha, just slam a deity to the ground. 
And obviously, Dust has a, a broken soul, as she put it. Stop trying to... Stop trying to Pennywise grab me with your crab arm. I need to release you from craziness. You're going mad. Whee! Whee! You can't kill me! Oh, I killed her with a single fireball. What? What have you done? Snapped you out of your insanity, I hope. Oh, thanks, Fidget. <laughs> Save? Darkness? Excuse me? Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what the general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I succumbed to that darkness. That desire for justice, no matter the cost. Mm -hmm. Justice must be taken with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you willed one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. Blades of Elysium? Mm -hmm. I would Basically, you heaven bleed. We have other more pressing matters at hand. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Yep. Oh, the waters, yes. I only hope it's not too late. I mean, I fear it did little to stop General Gaius in his campaign on the surface. Already, I can feel his army's footsteps. They travel north into the mountains. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on our way there, too. Before oh, yeah, Ginger. Perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named King. Yeah, you don't want to talk to King. He will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. All right, I'm not going to ask her how they how they know that because we really need to get back. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What? What have I done? With no time to waste, is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I mean... So, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Goodbye, Dust. And good luck. We'll have to walk and talk on this one. So, anything you say doesn't actually change... Ooh, there we go. Anything you say doesn't actually change the story, like if you ask for more information, it doesn't change anything. Um, there aren't any different endings, it's always the same. Come on, we need to get back. Even though I already know what happens and it's not... Like I said, it's gonna end in tears. Fidget does not do deal well with this. Hey look, sunlight! Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. Mm -hmm. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. Well, she can't there feel there life as it is. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes, even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. Yeah. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh no, oh, here look, we go. Here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. This isn't gonna go well. I'm gonna put my controller down. Please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? The spit's gonna get pretty heavy, guys. He held on as long as he could, but it just wasn't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. 
I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... We failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. <laughs> I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass. And there is nothing we could have done to stop it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. Uh, what does this... that mean? Yeah. Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. Mm -hmm. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. I feel so bad for Fidget. Wait, it's, oh, it's just a horrible thing. This game is not afraid to get really dark. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. I feel so Goodbye, bad for everyone. My love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. No, Bopo has to be strong. Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. <laughs> I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Aww. I promise. No. I, I might come back for, for the favors anyway. Because like once I've collected all the sheep and stuff, I might come back to give them back to him, but that's like the only time I'll come back. I feel really bad for Are all of them. Leave, Dust? Yeah, I'm I ready to so. go. Yes, we need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. 
Yes, I know of a place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing <laughs> Meadow? Is there something <laughs> between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not Come on, Fidget. Call, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come <laughs> on, let's get back to the surface. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Where am I going? Wait, I need to go up the way. I'm going the complete wrong way. But yeah, now Bopo is going to have to be strong. And everybody else is going to have to learn to, to live without him. That's really sad. It is honestly really, really sad. Time to get going. Oh, here we are. General Gaius again, this jerk. What are you going to say this time, General buddy? General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed. He's not Cassius anymore, command. General. That is all. He is Dust, the savior, Wait, the Senmithrarin. Most unlike you. <laughs> he ain't your friend no more. In fact, he absolutely despises you. Chapter 3. I'll need to go back through it once I've recorded this oh, and take a screenshot of that for the Dust, thumbnail. Dust, is that you, mate? Augustine? Oh, what are you doing all the way out here? Why, I'm heeding the call of grand adventure. <laughs> Venturing forth to seek my Augustine, fortune in the wilds of this great, untamed wilderness. Actually, Cora asked me to show her the way to some old meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow. Right, that's it. Never was straight with names and faces and words. Did she come on, Augustine. Why she wanted to come here? This place is pretty bleak. Nope. Just asked me to show her the way. As soon as she wandered into the meadow, this crazy magic barrier showed up. Right inconvenience, that is. I Most mean, we're not getting up these mountains then. You say Cora just wandered mm. off into the meadow? <laughs> she may not wandered look at, off. She's a speedy little bugger. Right. Well, we'd better go look for her. This meadow isn't safe. Augustine, if you're not going to go back to Aurora, you'd better wait here. Way ahead of you, mate. I wait around better than anyone. Good luck out there. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I what does he have in mind? Oh, yeah, here we go. I do class. actually need to do this. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Well, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. I do actually need to go up there for a little... I don't know if it's actually for the story, but... I probably need to go up there? Here we go, the sorrowing meadow with all the zombies and stuff. This thing is just... crawling with zombies. Oh god, the explodey ones. It's like they don't even have faces anymore. Like Oh wait, you can you can see some of their like hair and ears. Ugh. Ew. Oh my god, I'm so weak. Yeah, you know what actually, I'm just gonna end the video here because there's no point in 
yeah, this video has gone on for quite a while. So, um, thanks to all my demons and devils for watching. If you're new and want to become one of my demons, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of any videos I do in the future. I'm going to go get some stuff from Archer's Pass, and then next video I'll have some stronger materials and we'll be able to keep going through this place. So I shall see you all next time. Bye!